Hello, and thanks for watching Gideon Taylor's demonstration of Work Center functionality with GTE Forms. What we're going to show here is a Work Center that we've built from a department perspective. This is the Work Center, and we you can see that we have done some fun branding. This is our Zen look and feel. We've also done work to build other look and feel layouts like this Windows 8 look and feel. We made a couple of these. And work centers are really easy to brand. They're really easy to change the look and feel of if you have some branding expertise. So uh, this is one of the uh, efforts that we made to show how easy it is to tailor work centers to the way that you want to work, even to the point of giving your end users a choice of the look and feel they want to work in. We're going to work in the Zen look and feel. So work centers are made up of a navigation tab on the left and a target area on the right. We're going to go ahead and start looking from a department admin role. And the first tab that we've put together is a My Info tab that includes links that can go to external or internal content, like this external human resources page. This navigation collection actually supports uh, security-based links so that you can decide who can see what, even if it's external content. From QuickNav, we can open up the, the ability to navigate to multiple form families inside of GTE Forms from one navigation tab. So here we can start an electronic form to change job data. Here's for Donald Trump. So we can work on the e-form in the target window, and the nav window stays available for us to move on to the next task. So it's easy for us to uh, work on a task from start to finish. In this case, we're going to submit two forms for Donald Trump, one to change his job information, and that's almost done here. We'll submit that. And then we'll go and create an entirely separate form from a different form family to request security roles for him. Both of these forms are going to go on to the next approver, who we will log in as in a moment. So after I've completed those two forms, I can also go and update a form. So I'll complete an I-9 form. That's the next task I have. So I'll bring up an I-9 that's been completed by the... Uh, by a new applicant or a new employee and I just need to complete section 2 and then resubmit it. And again all of these disparate tasks are being handled from inside the same navigation uh, window because we're in the same work center. So Once we've added our electronic signature and resubmitted that form we're ready now to, uh, to go to the next tab. The My Work tab for form initiators has a uh, My eForms pagelet that has a lot of power. We can, for example, see all the forms that we've submitted, and we can go in and update them. Like I just made a change just like that to the form we just submitted for Donald Trump. I can also see who can work the form next, so I know who to bother to, about finishing it. I also have, I can look and see what forms are pending in various statuses, or I can link through to the delivered PeopleSoft work list. So I'm going to log out now as the department admin and log in as a department approver. We have all the same navigation available here, but here we'll highlight the uh, dashboard pagelet message center that we've created. This actually logs all the emails that are being sent to the uh, approver and allows you to actually work the form from inside of it. So I can approve this form from right inside the message center just as if I'd clicked the link from the email and gone in to work it from, from my email box. You'll see a number of different ways that I can approve a form from a GT work center. I also have access to the My Links tab. From the My Work tab, the important pagelet for me is the My Pending Approvals pagelet. This shows me the forms that are waiting for my approval and allows me to filter them by date range or by form type. So I can narrow down my list to just the role forms that are waiting for me, and this is yet another way that I can approve an e-form from inside the work center. I can go right from here, bring up the security request for Donald Trump and approve it, and it's off to the system, and his security will be changed automatically. 
Also from inside the Work Center, I have a reports tab. GT delivers several analytics reports, including this aging distribution. I can drill into the various lists and actually act on those forms from there. Or I can add custom reports to this tab so that I can have all the work together that I need to use on a regular basis. The dashboard can include pagelets built both by GT and delivered pagelets, like this direct line reports pagelet. The uh, last functionality we want to highlight is our new GT Action Center. The GT Action Center actually is another work list, but that it can show the actual details of the forms on the page and let you do bulk approvals. So here I'm actually going to use my filter to bring up the remaining role eForms that are pending for my approval. And by hitting Process Selected, I can approve all of them at once without even having to open them just based on the information that I can see in this summary. When I refresh the screen, they're done, off to the system to be updated. Again, we can also share the navigation with delivered PeopleSoft pages like the job data, which will have been updated by the eForm that we submitted, the job change eForm for Donald Trump. So WorkCenters lets you bring all that work together in one place adding great efficiencies to your work inside of PeopleSoft, and especially when you use GTE forms to augment it. Coming soon to a desktop near you.